So this is our subject today. And let's say you want her skin tone to look like this. And you also want her skin tone to look like this. We'll look at both cases. Now, let me ask you something. How is it possible? Now, there are lots of ways you can do it with curves. You can do it with hue saturation. You can do it with a combination of a lot of adjustments. But I have a theory, a very interesting one. Stick with me. So let's say we have a skin tone to begin with. First of all, it's very dark. So I added a curves adjustment layer to brighten it a little bit. Very simple. So far, so good. All right. So let us do a little bit of math. Trust me, it's not going to be boring. So let's say we have our subject skin tone. All right. Simple. Now, what if we can propose an equation where we can add something to the subject skin tone so that it becomes the reference skin tone? Can we do something like that? Can we just put this sentence into an equation. So here we have the subject skin tone. What if we add something to it and let's call that something X. All right. What if we add something to it so that we get the reference skin tone? Is it possible? Is this equation looking good? All right. Now this is possibility one. This is the first possibility that we are adding something to the subject's existing skin tone so that we get the reference skin tone. So how do we find X? How do we find what to add to the subject skin tone? Pretty simple mathematics. You have learned this in third or fourth grade. Just simply switch the variables. So X equals reference minus subject, right? Reference skin tone minus subject skin tone, right? So this is the first possibility. This becomes our first equation. Now, the second possibility is we can subtract something from the subject skin tone, which results in the reference skin tone, right? Now, how do we find X here again? Just switch the values as you do in simple mathematics. Here, X is the opposite. It is subject minus reference. This is our second equation. Now, all right. So these two equations are something that we can start our work with. Now, let's get back to our image. All right. We're going to take a sample of our skin tone. So let's take the brush. Let's take a simple brush right now. So in the general brushes, we're going to take in the hard round brush. All right. Now let's create a layer on top. We cannot paint on the curves adjustment layer. Now take a sample from right here. That works. And we're going to just paint in a blob. Just make sure you're using the hard round brush. Just dab right there. Now we're going to go to our first reference. Let's take a sample from a similar area. Also make sure when you're taking a sample with the eyedropper selected, make sure the sample size is large enough. So here I have chosen 11 by 11 average. So it will make an average of 11 by 11 pixels. So it will make an area of 11 by 11 pixels and take an average color of that. So. Let's go back to the brush, hold the Alt key or the Option key, click to take a sample from that area. And you're going to make one more layer and just dab on top of it. Now, the flow is not high, so make sure the flow is 100 in both cases. So we're going to take the sample of the subject again and just paint it right there. Take the sample of the reference on another layer. We're going to just dab. So this one is the reference and this one is our subject. So let's try the first equation right here. So what was the first equation? How do we find X? In the first equation, it says that there is something that you can add. Keep in mind, add, focus that word. There is something that we can add to the subject skin color so that it becomes the reference. And how do we find what to add? Well, we subtract subject from reference right? So what do we have to do? We have to subtract the subject from the reference. So subject is at the top, reference is at the bottom. We have to subtract the subject from the reference. And therefore, for the subject, we're going to choose the blend mode, subtract. So let's go ahead and choose subtract. And this is the color we get in between. That is the subtracted color. That color is X. Now you might ask Unmesh, where do I fill that color? Well, first of all, you need to make a selection of the skin area and only these skin tone areas. 
For that, first of all, let's turn off all this and then go to select color range. Make sure select sample color is selected. And with the first eyedropper, just click on the same area. You can increase the flow. Just make sure you increase it enough so that all of the skin tones are selected. Don't try to click on other areas because we sampled that area so it makes more sense. All right, so at about 135 makes sense to me. You can even go higher. Let's go 150 in this case. That looks a little more natural. Hit OK. We have a selection of that area. Now let's create a solid color adjustment layer with this selection active. All right, that way a mask will be created with this active selection. So click on the adjustment layer icon, choose solid color. It really doesn't matter what color you choose now. Just hit OK. You can turn it off. All right, now turn on both of these. We know that the color in the middle is X, right? Let's double click on the thumbnail of the solid color adjustment layer. Take a sample of this color. We have now sampled that color right here. Just click on in here. Just make sure sample all layers is selected. Hit OK. Now turn it on. Now let's go back to the equation. What did the equation say? We were adding X to the subject. We were adding it. That's the main statement right there. So we need to add it. And how do we add it? Let's choose the blend mode. Linear dodge. Add and have a look at it. Our job here is done. So let me share this with you. First of all, let's turn off both of these blobs. So here is the before, here is the after. It has gotten so much closer with that of the reference. Now you can definitely work the curves, work other adjustments. We have tons of videos on how to fine tune these adjustments, but this is just a mathematical way to look at things. But there will be cases when this will not work. And that's why we have our second example. Now I'm going to keep this solid color because we'll need that later. And you can delete the subject and the reference. Let's do it again. All right. Now, this is the original one. First of all, let's do the subject again. So let's take a sample from this area and make sure the opacity and flow at 100. Make sure you have chosen the hard round brush right there and then simply just dab, all right? And this is the subject. On top of that, right now on top of it, we're gonna create the reference. Let's name this reference and let's go to our second reference. And in here, let's find a good place to sample from. Let's sample from this area. Let's go back and we're gonna dab. So this is our reference. Now let's go to our very first equation. How do we find X? We subtract subject from reference. So let's put the subject at the top. Now change the blend mode to subtract. Now, as you can see, this is absolutely black. And then you try to choose the same color here. It just isn't working. And according to the first equation, we were adding it. So the blend mode here is right, but this equation is just not working. As I told you, there are two possibilities. The first possibility is that something is being added to the subject. And the second possibility, let's not forget, is something is being subtracted from the subject skin tone. So it may be that the second case is applicable right here. And how do you know that? If anything goes too dark and it's we are not able to apply it, just keep that in mind. Use the second equation. So according to the second equation, what does it say? First of all, let's turn this off. We don't really need the solid color at the top right now. Okay. Second equation says that we are subtracting something from the subject to get the reference. And in this case, how do we find X? We find X by subtracting reference from the subject. So in this case, we take a reference at the top, make sure subject blend mode is normal and reference is subtract. Okay. Now we double click on the thumbnail of the solid color adjustment layer. We pick that color. Now in this case, what is the blend mode we're going to choose? Not add, subtract again. Why the subtract blend mode? Keep in mind, we are subtracting X from the subject. So we chose X as the color and we want to subtract it. So turn it on and change the blend mode to subtract. And there you have it, my friend. 
Let's turn both of these off. So here is the before, here is the after. So much like this one. Look at this one and look at this one, so much similar. Now you can add a little bit of curves to add more brightness and shine to it, but it's the same skin tone, it's the same skin sample. Now if you want to limit it just to the face, you can create a group of just this one layer. So select that solid color adjustment layer, press Ctrl or Command G, and then you can create a mask. Let's create a negative mask by holding the Alt key or the Option key. Click on the mask, this creates a negative mask. And then with a soft round brush, you can just start painting on the areas where you want the change. See that? How easy it was? So there you go, my friend. Simple mathematics, simple addition and subtraction simple variables. If you can just experiment with different things, Photoshop becomes so simple. I hope this video helped you and if it did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you don't miss any other future tips, tricks or tutorials. I would like to take this moment to thank all these nice and amazing people for supporting Piximperfect on Patreon and helping keep Piximperfect free for everybody forever. Thank you so much again for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.